Hello, tiny people trapped within the confines of my computer. I'm Finn, and today I'm starting a new show. This is the world's loneliest podcast, the show where I sit in the dark really late into the night and talk. Why? Because the area that I live in is filled with people 24-7, and I don't like people. Woo! So, this is a feeling out process. It's the first episode. If you're expecting something super produced and super well put together, you're in the wrong space. This is where I'm going to be an idiot. Uh, You're currently a tiny laptop with a a very crappy mic uh, that is maybe getting audio. It stops every once in a while. And I'm in the backseat of a 2006 Honda Civic. Why? Because it's night time. Night time. So, welcome to my space. Welcome to uh, the, the, the first genuine long form thing I've made. Cause I've made long form things of me just leaving and the camera playing. Uh, but I haven't done anything where I sit and like genuinely do something for longer than 30 minutes. And hopefully this can be a thing that I can do fairly often without it becoming boring for me and for you guys. Uh, today is just kind of a feeling out thing, you know, cause it doesn't exist yet. This is episode one. So it's mostly just going to be me talking about what I want to do. Uh, It's going to be me talking a lot about YouTube, a lot about personal stuff. uh, And it's going to be a lot of things of me trying to set up segments for the future. Uh, So don't expect too much to be put together for this. I don't know how long this episode will be. Uh, I'm aiming for like an hour. But who knows? Who knows if the lights of my truck will last that long? Because like... I become really blue and or not visible, which I guess fits with, like, the loneliness idea. I can do this. I've got this little light over here. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. This is a really bad podcast. Uh, Welcome to my truck. Um, So, I guess first, I want to talk about what I want this podcast to be. Uh... Me and my best friend, who you can find at uh, youtube.com slash Beans. Go, go check out Amidon. He's awesome. I love that man. Uh, he gave me this idea because I was like, I don't have a space to record in. And I don't have stuff to record and blah, 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 blah. And he was like, just go sit in your truck and record and do a lonely podcast. And then it just kind of popped in and made me giggle. And I was like, yes, I'm doing that. Uh... So now here I am. Uh, The goals for this are, A, to just make something, because I don't like the channel going too long without uploads. I really, I don't like my channel to go any longer than three days without uploads, and I try to upload every other day, if not every two days, um, because I just, I like making stuff, and I like you guys being able to have a backlog of stuff from me, rather than having, like, oh, here's an upload, now we have to wait seven days. I don't like that. Uh, I understand why other creators do that, because they have things they need to do, or they've been doing it for super long and they're worn out. Completely understand it, and I don't have any harsh feelings against them. I just don't want to do that. Uh, Another thing this is, is a way for me to be more engaged with you guys on, like, a one-on-one level. Because I make videos where I sit and do, like, 30 minutes of just, like, back and forth. Uh, just myself and the camera, but that's about a topic usually, and I feel like uh, a podcast setting is a lot more diverse, and it doesn't have to be super specific. Uh, So I have a couple segments planned that I want to come up with and talk with you guys about, um, and get maybe a little bit of feedback on. Uh, the first segment I want to talk about is specifically about going back and forth with you guys. Uh, in the Discord, I'm going to have a new channel made, uh, a text channel, where I want you guys to ask questions. Uh, because I think I want, I want something that'll update, that I can purposefully look at as you guys conversating with me without, like, getting into a Discord call with you. Which I'm cool to do. Uh, it'd just be a little bit difficult to record out here because I can't screen record with my crappy laptop. So I want to do that. But I also, if only one person is going to ask a question, I don't want to make that a full segment because, you know, then it's just, oh, Floris asked this again. Uh, 
Shout out to Floris, my lovely uh, uh, Dutch husband. Um, but that's a that's a segment I want to do, and I think could be really fun. Uh, and I'll get into more segments later. For now, I'll just leave that one there and let it sink in and be in your mind. Uh, for now, I want to uh, talk. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about some shit uh, because some shit's going on. Uh, currently, I live with, uh, hmm, I'm going to say the first letter of people's names as to not say their names, M, D, B, J, D, again, A, B, B, L, and then myself. There's 10 people currently living in the home that I live in. Uh, and as of probably the day this comes out, my abusive bigot father uh, will also be living there. And most likely sharing my bedroom. Uh, so, fuck that. Uh, which is probably going to be the main reason why I have to do this podcast rather than my normal sit down in, in my bedroom thing. Uh, is because I don't like those people, and they really, really don't like me. Uh, so, you know, hmm, I, uh, I'm gonna have to deal with that. Um, I'm very not excited to, uh, be around my father. Um, I'm very not excited for that. I'm also very not excited for all of the stuff that comes along with that. Uh, his drama... Uh, all of the stuff that he's going to force me to do, um, and force me to do with him, it's just not very cool. So, that sucks. Um, I would like to apologize, um, if over the next week or so, month or so, I tend to be more negative, uh... Shitty stuff happens, you get into a shitty attitude, so I apologize, uh, formerly for that, which is probably to come. Um, alongside that, I apologize for uploads probably being a lot less frequent, as, uh, I'm trying to record a couple things out here, uh, but overall it's gonna be a little bit difficult to upload things and make things over the next while due to this dog shit. Um, so, my apologies on uh, lack of uploads, quality of uploads, or attitude during uploads uh, go down. It is not something I'm happy about, but something that I'm going to have to deal with because I still want to do this, and I don't want anything to get in the way of me doing this, even if it makes it harder to do it. I still love this, and it's still something that I genuinely care for and want to consider, uh, continue doing. Um, also, don't expect this to be a super formatted podcast. It's, it's just me ranting for like an hour, hour and a half or whatever. So be, be ready for, for, be ready for that. Just pure rants. I haven't been looking at the camera. I've been making sure that I'm visible and stuff in my recording thing. So I haven't been looking at the camera this whole time. Uh, so, I, I apologize for that. I, I forgot. Um, uh, next thing I, w I want to get into is another uh, s segment. Could uh, maybe another, maybe, uh, maybe another, 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 oh, if I get closer, I'm more visible. I don't have to use the light. That's cool, I guess. Um, I, God, my hair looks bad. Another segment that I might. Uh, be able to do, and I don't know yet, is, um, it'd be a little iffy, but I might be able to make it work, uh, me playing one or, like, for, like, a five, ten minute segment, me playing characters on the podcast, like, I could, like, interview a character, and then the other, because it's lonely, and then the other person is just me wearing different clothes or something, I think that could be kind of goofy, like a little skit in the middle of the podcast, I think that could be really fun, uh, but if I... If I can't think of good skits for it, I feel like it wouldn't be... I feel like it wouldn't be very entertaining. Which, I, I feel like if I make something and you guys are going to see it, I should make it in a way that is entertaining. I, I just feel like that's... 
th this is a type of entertainment. It should be entertaining and not boring to watch. So if I make something that's boring, uh, don't don't sugarcoat it. Tell me I'm being boring so I can like not <laughs> be boring anymore. Uh, because your 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 opinions on this channel matter. Your opinions on, on, on my videos matter to me. Because if I make dog sh if I make something and none of you enjoy it and nobody says anything, I'll make more stuff that nobody enjoys. So I want to hear you tell me that something is or isn't entertaining if I make it. And uh, th this episode is probably not going to be super entertaining due to the fact that it's like <laughs> empty nothingness. Uh... Whereas in the future there will be segments planned, and I will have uh, things for that week, like uh, trying to think. Like f next week, I'll have uh, next week. I might post this every other day, huh? Uh, but uh, next episode, I'll have updates on the family crap, and I'll have updates on the thing about my dad. And anything else I talk about during this episode, I'll have an update of. Because, like, I plan to do an actual podcast with my best friend, Amina Beans, who you can find at youtube.com slash Amina Beans. Go look at my boy, A-M-A-D-O-N-B-E-A-N-Z. Uh, go check him out. He's awesome. I want to do a podcast with him. We've been talking about it for an actual, genuinely half of a decade. Uh, and I have logos and shit made for it and all that, and we just haven't been able to start because of scheduling conflicts. So on that, it would be more of a, like, genuine podcast, whereas here it's just going to be me talking to you fuckers for a bit and keeping you updated on my personal life and the things that I'm into and the things that I enjoy. And it's an easy way for me to make content whenever I don't have the space to do so, and oh, it's dark over here. And it's also an easy way for me to let you guys in on my life. And it's also kind of a cool way for me to get watch hours. Because if I make it an hour and then the average like viewership thing on it is like 60%, that's like 40 something minutes. Uh, and if it gets 100 views, that's 40 minutes times 100. 400 minutes is quite a bit of watch time. So, maybe that'll, maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll be cool. Maybe that'll be awesome. Um, channel update. Uh, last night, as of me recording this, I say last night, it was the night before. I'm recording this May 1st. This happened April 29th when I went to bed. I woke up. And it was April 30th. So for me, it's been a day because I haven't slept. But it's been two. Uh, we hit we hit 300 subscribers. Woo woo, baby. Uh, which fucking blows me away. You guys are fucking crazy. Uh, in my YouTube analytics, it says that I've gained 103 subs over the course of 28 days. Uh, which means I went from 200 to 303, or whatever the fuck the number is, over the course of 28 days. Uh, which is fucking crazy, because I made my channel October 3rd, I started posting in November, I don't know the actual date, uh, and then December 27th, we hit 100 subs, and then maybe February we hit 200, and then we just stayed at like 200, stayed at like 200, stayed at like 300, uh, so thank you fuckers so, so very much for, for getting me to this, to this point. Uh, I cried at a hundred views, uh, not a hundred views, a hundred subs. At a hundred subs, I genuinely cried. Uh, and then I promised to make a 100 sub special <laughs> and I didn't. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, due to the, I was making my own 100 I was making my own YouTube award. I was making, like, the silver play button, but with, like, painting it and then putting, like, a, a like, metallic thing for the triangle, like the little play button. Uh, and then I ordered the little mirror, mirror thing, and it never came. And then I never got another one ordered, and depression hit soon after, and stuff happened. And I ended up not doing that. 
which sucked ass. So, moving forward, I want to do actual things for subspecials. So, we hit 300 as of day before yesterday. And my goal for this year, uh, I want to hit 500 subs uh, by New Year's. Uh, I think that'd be a great way to cap off the year. Um, if if I was able to put a, sp a specific date of when I want to, I want to do it before before the first upload of the channel's one year anniversary. Which I should figure that out. It's fuck. I can look it up. Hold up. Hold up. One un momento. I don't have to pause this. I can keep it running while I look. Oh, I forgot that you don't have to break things to open things. Three hundred and seven subscribers. I was wrong. Uh, whenever this loads, great accidental pause screen of my face. Um, shorts will be easier. Because, yeah, my first upload was a short, I think. Um, fuck. I think... If I, if I do... I posted a video on a short on the same day. So... They should be the same. It's only been five months. And video... Oh, shit, this is going to be really loud. I don't want it to play. Um, I'll pause this pretty much the moment it starts. Boop. Damn, I had pretty hair. Uh, November 9th. Uh, November 9th will be one year since the first upload on this YouTube channel. Uh, August... August 19th, 19th is 12 years of me doing YouTube. On and off, of course. I haven't done it, like, daily or anything. Uh, so I want to do... I want to hit... I want to do something cool before hitting 12 years of doing this. But I don't I don't know, like, what a good... What a good option would be for that. Um, I, don't, I don't know what to, what to aim for for the 12-year anniversary of me doing YouTube. I don't, I don't know. Uh... But I, I think hitting 500 subs before the one-year anniversary of posting on this channel would be incredibly cool. So currently, my sub goal is 500 by November, uh, November 7th. If we don't hit it, I'm not going to be, like, mad or anything. Like, I'm not going to be upset. But I think it would be really cool and fun to hit 500 before the one-year anniversary. So... That's that. Uh, another uh, goal we got. Oh, fart. I don't know if that's audible, but I farted. There's more. Uh, another goal that we got recently is... I suck at dates. We, uh, on the, this channel, hit 100,000 views. Which doesn't seem like a big deal, because there's channels with billions, with a B. Uh, and uh, what that means, for those who don't know great uh, numbers, uh, hitting a billion is uh, a lot, and 100,000 is 1% 1 of 1%. 100,000 times 100 is a million, and then a million times 100, no, actually... I'm at 1% of a tenth of a percent. That's crazy. That's a lot. But to me it means a lot because the most any of my channels had ever had before uh, was 30,000. And I tripled that in five months. Which is awesome. And I, I can't take all the credit for that. I had a shout-out from Amadin, my best friend, who has always had a bigger channel than me. Uh, shout-out to him. He's, he's like, he's this close to hitting uh, 400 subs. Good on you, buddy. I love you. Uh, and, um, like, I've had a little bit of help. I had him help. Um, he's posted a video on this channel for me. Um, 
whenever I like broke my phone or whatever, he posted a couple videos on my old channel. I did multiple collabs with him in those old channels. He gave me a shout out whenever I first remade this channel. Uh, and then I've had a lot of help with you guys helping with interaction. Uh, all of your comments, your likes, your shares. Uh, just my thing for last year, which was only December and November. Because remember, I started in uh, November uh, 300. I got 300 comments and like 180 something likes. Over the course of a two-month period when my channel had, like, 20-something subs. Uh, so I can only imagine what those numbers are going to look like in my yearly recap this time. Considering we're not halfway through the year and my shit is fucking wham in comparison. Like, everything's, like, times 10 or some shit. Uh, thank you guys for 100,000 views. It means the world to me. Most I've ever gotten on any channel was 30,000. Tripled that and some. Um... It means a fuck ton to me because I remember being 14-ish. Uh, yeah, 2020. And I made a channel and I posted a video and it was the... For, for, for about three years, it, no, two years it was my biggest thing I'd ever made uh, because it got... It got 1,000 views, which at the time was the most views anything I'd ever made got. Ever. Uh, and that's... Fuck. That's like seven years into doing this, and that was the most viewed I, I'd ever had something. And to think that this channel has seven, maybe ten videos that are at 1,000 is crazy, because that was a huge deal to me four years ago. And then to think that this channel has gotten that video times 100 views. That is crazy. So, so thank you guys so much for sharing and liking and commenting and subscribing and all of that. It means, it means a lot to me. Uh, and I know a lot of people will look at it and be like, oh, well, these numbers don't mean much. There's channels with hundreds of millions of subs, channels with billions of views and videos with a million comments and da, 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 and your numbers are small and I, that's fine i don't i don't expect to grow like mr beast i don't accept i don't expect to i don't expect to reach the levels of like a smosh or or a pewdiepie you know i'm not i'm not expecting that uh nor do i really want that because i feel like those numbers get to a point where they no longer matter and they're too damn big uh, I prefer this smaller community that I have now, and I know that it won't stay small forever, and at a certain point, this community will be bigger than I'm able to handle, and there will be things of the... I'm trying to explain it well without sounding like an egotistical asshole. Um, yawning! Uh, there, there will be a point where the community on this channel will be too big for me to keep it one-on-one. -on -one. And I understand that. And that's going to happen, and it happens to every creator at a certain point. Uh, which is why I try to be so there and in the moment with, with this now. And I try to respond to every comment. And when people come into the Discord, I, I try to welcome them and conversate with them and be friendly. Uh, because I feel like... While I'm able to have a one-on-one -on -one with you guys, I should. And while I'm able to conversate with you in situations that are personal but not intrusive, I should take advantage of the ability to do that. Because at a certain point, you can't. Uh, like, the average viewer of mine, because my channel is so small, can conversate with me. In the comments, on the Discord. Hell, one of the people I talk to daily now, who I don't, I don't talk to a lot of people normally, one of the only people I talk to daily is somebody who saw one of my shorts one day, thought it was cool, watched, liked, subbed, commented a lot, and now we're fairly close friends. They're helping me put together a Minecraft server. <laughs> like, I love this. I love this tiny cult-like following. And someday I won't have it. Someday this... 
someday this community is going to be bigger than me and bigger than I can take care of. And up until that point, I want to treat it like a bunch of one-on-one situations. I want to treat it like it's something special because it is something special. Um, With that being said, I want to again thank all of you uh, for liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, simply viewing. Uh, I <laughs> Something made me feel really good, because in your YouTube analytics, you can see how many dislikes and likes a video has. Uh, on my entire channel, uh, over 300 uploads, I think it's 340, 343 maybe before this comes out? I don't know. Uh, I have, I think it's seven. I think I have seven dislikes on my entire channel. And three of them are on a video about a dog that was being abused, which means I have four dislikes. A video about a dog being in pain has three. Uh, which makes me feel good because that means a lot of the stuff coming from you guys is positive. And I do get the, the comment here or there about, oh, this is cringe, or you look like this, or whatever the hell. Um, and that's fine. I don't let it get to me. I don't really care. Uh, it's kind of just... Hey, look, a car's going by. I'm about to light up for a second. Or not. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, when people leave, like, a nasty comment, all it really does to me is give me a boost in the algorithm. It makes, makes the algorithm think I'm prettier because I got a comment. Uh... So, thank you to the people who are mean about my content. <clears throat> You're helping me, and I appreciate that. Uh, my underwear is writhing up into my pussy, is why I am grabbing at my shorts. Uh, so, with that being said, I want to say thank you guys for all of the, the support and pushing my channel. Uh, next update... Uh, my videos of me sitting and talking to you guys that I do fairly often have started to do pretty fucking well. Um, uh, my most viewed video is still me shaving my head, uh, which is coming back slowly. Wait, I can probably get a better lighting on that. It's coming back. Uh, I wish it would come back faster. Uh, but... I'm sorry. I hope this doesn't... I don't think this could give somebody, like, a seizure. I think I'm good. Uh, I hope this doesn't harm anybody's eyes. Uh, if so, my apologies, and leave a comment, and I won't do it ever again. I'll stop using the light, and you'll just see me in the dark by my... Life is a void. Uh, but, uh, that's still my most popular video. But with that being said, a lot of these videos have started getting traction. Uh, I'd say every single one since... Every single one that's an actual video since my WrestleMania video has gotten over 100 views, I think. I think every single one has. Some of which have gotten a couple hundred. Uh, Here's What's Up is currently at like 600... Uh, What's the Plan has like 500 or something like that. Uh, one of them hit a thousand. I just can't remember which one it was. But one of the videos hit a thousand, which was very cool. Um, coming Out is at like a hundred and something, I think. Uh, so that's good. Uh, also, thank you to... I fucking... That's a cool segment I can talk about real quick. Uh, my video about me coming out as gay and trans and all that is doing really well. Not only with views, but with likes. It has, I think, 12 or something like that. Which is, all, for a video with 107 views, 12 likes is pretty fucking good. Uh, and it's got a lot of uh, comments. None of them are negative. Uh, it's all positive, which makes me feel very good. I expected a lot more hate. When I posted that, I lost two subscribers. So, the two of you that left because of me being gay, fuck you. Um, but every comment on that's really nice. And some of those people I've seen in the comments before, and it makes me feel nice because I'm starting to recognize your names because you talk so much to me, and it makes me feel good. 
Uh, alongside that, uh, I learned that there are parts of my audience that are religious, which is cool, and I have no issues with whatsoever. Religion is okay, and I think it's actually a pretty good thing for pe people socially. Uh, but uh, the religious people in my audience t uh, seem like they are cool with me being gay and cool with me being trans. Uh, and cool with me not being religious, which makes me have a hell of a lot of respect for you and for the people that fit into the same dynamic as you in religious uh, situations. So thank you, everybody, for the support on that video and on me coming out about all that and whatnot. Uh, it means it means a lot. Uh, so thank you. Uh, I guess next thing I can talk about is what content to expect that isn't the podcast. So, I'm going to keep doing this, this podcast. I think it's fun. I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, alongside this, I want to still make other things when I have the time to. My apologies if that's not super... What am I... What's flashing over there? Oh, it's my drink. I forgot I had a... I'm going to take a sip. Sorry guys, I had to take a drink of my ginger fluid so that so that my ginger stays. I was drinking my ginger fluid, guys. Uh, but uh, what to expect outside of this is uh, I love wrestling. Uh, wait, can I fuck with this and make the light? Yeah, I can change the lighting. That's sick. I forgot that I can do that. Which one do I want? Tiny light? Big light. Sorry, my autism's kicking in. Uh, <laughs> I really love wrestling, and I really like wrestling pay-per-views. And I'm going to make a prediction video and then a review of every WWE pay-per-view that happens. Um, if you are a wrestling fan, and you like New Japan, or TNA, or Ring of Honor, or AEW, or AAA, or whatever the hell you like... Good on you. I don't hate you for liking that. And I catch clips of all of those brands. But when it comes to my bread and butter, it's the Fed. I'm a big WWE guy. So, uh, expect reviews and prediction videos of uh, Big Dub pay-per-views uh, this upcoming... I think it's later this week. Backlash is happening later this week. I gotta figure out what day that is so I can make my prediction video come out before it. Uh, I'll make my prediction video come out the day of, and then my review will come out the day after. I think that's a good way to do a prediction and review thing. Uh, so expect those. Uh, after, after Backlash, I think we're moving on to Bash in Berlin in Germany, I think, which should be fun. No, we're doing King of the Ring. Yeah, it's Backlash, King of the Ring, then Bash in Berlin. Uh, but yeah, those are going to be fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun watching and then recording stuff on them because I love wrestling. Um, Amidon, if you're seeing this uh, and you get time, I'd love to watch a wrestling pay-per-view with you again. It doesn't have to be one new one. We can watch, like, Mania because it was so fucking good and I ranted you about how much I loved it. Uh, but yeah, if if you want to do that, I'm down. Uh, speak speaking of if you want to talk to me... I don't know why I held this like it was a microphone. It's freaking good if you want to talk to me. If you want to talk to me, go to the Discord. Uh, I'll leave a link to the Discord in this, like in the description of this. Uh, and then there should be... Uh, I'm going to start putting out a community post once a week about the Discord. Because the Discord links wear off after a couple days. Uh, I don't know how to put an infinite one that just stays forever. Sorry, uh, but, uh, yeah, go to the Discord if you want to chat with me, and or my friends. There's, I think, seven people in the Discord currently. There's been 12 total, but some have left due to not enjoying the time, uh, and <laughs> everybody, ex one person didn't enjoy it and left. The rest of them left because I said no bigotry, uh, because a lot of people in there aren't exactly the average straight white dude. There's couple trans people, a lot of gay people. We like being inclusive here. Uh, uh, that doesn't mean you can't be in there if you're straight. It just means don't be an asshole. I think that's fairly... Uh, I feel like that's a, an okay thing to want from your community is for people not to be assholes. So yeah, if you're interested 
in conversating with me or leaving ideas for videos or if you want to join the team because in the future I, I want to have a team of people to make things. You will not be like an editor or an artist unless you specifically want to do that. Uh, I'm looking mostly for people to collaborate with me, maybe play a game with me or show up in Discord and just chat for a bit or be on like a podcast or whatever. Uh, so if you're interested in that, go to the Discord and I'll, I'll like... I'll find a way to link it and stuff on this. Uh, I need to figure out... Because I know you can... Like, there's like an actual thing that's like the the invite thing that you don't need an invite for. Where you just like type in the creator's like Discord thing in Google or whatever. I need to figure that out and do that. But until then, I'll just leave it in the descriptions. Um, more update things. Because I don't have plans for, for this episode of the pod... Uh, I, 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 the, our group channel, me and Abedin have a group channel and we, ex, we, we expect to expand and have other people join it and it not just be us two, uh, Mega House Studios, which you can find at youtube.com slash Mega House Studios, uh, M-E-G-A-H-O-U-S-E-S-T-U-D-I-O-S, Mega House Studios, um, no numbers or nothing. It's it's literally just Mega House Studios. Uh, I recently made a logo for it and put it on there. Uh, that's where you can expect us to be posting group uh, projects, including our group podcast. Uh, do not expect that to be done tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day or the day after that. That's stuff that's for later on because me and him have to be around each other or on a call to do that. And currently, neither of us have the ability to because he's working, and I'm surrounded by assholes. Uh, so, when that stuff comes, it'll be over there. So, go ahead and check out the two videos that are over there that are me talking about what will be there. Uh, both of them are fairly old. One's five months old, one's three months old. Uh, I, sh I, I should make another video to put over there and tell people, hey, I'm sorry that we're not making things. We're not with each other right now. So, yeah... That's cool. Sorry. I'm staring off again. I keep I keep wanting this to be a microphone. I like holding a microphone. And I don't have one that I can just hold. Like a good... Like, like this one, if I hold it, the bass gets destroyed because I'm too close. So I have to... I just have to do this. Um, I don't know when I'll be able to do it. But this is uh, my, fir my first, like production, um, I have to figure out when the fuck I'm gonna have the house to myself, uh, but I'm doing a one-man comedy show, um, it's gonna be an hour or so, it'll be me by myself, uh, I don't wanna give off too many details about how I'm gonna do it, because I feel like a lot of it is just me being me and hoping that things work, uh, I've talked with a couple of people about it, and they're all into the idea, and I've thrown some of my, my my material at people, and they've enjoyed it. So I hope it works. Uh, when I make it, I'll make an announcement video about it. I'll make a community post about it, and there will be a premiere thing. Uh, so you won't have to worry about not being able to find it if you're interested. Uh, if you're not interested, cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm doing a one-man comedy show, and I have the setup ready for it. And I have the space. Uh, I just need the space to be empty. Uh, for two hours at max. Shouldn't be too heavy. Uh, but I'm doing a, a one-man comedy show, and I have a name for it. Uh, and it's in the works, uh, the name, I mean, because I want to make a logo for it and everything. And the name is Mid. It's just okay. Uh, and I don't want to announce it until I know for a fact I can't come up with anything better, because I suck. If you have... If you have... If you have suggestions for what the one-man comedy show should be called uh, here on youtube.com slash Finn's Folly, uh, make sure to ma make sure to uh, ma make sure to leave a leave a comment about what you think that should be. Uh, oh, should I shave? I should probably shave. I don't look very girly pop with my facial hair, huh? I don't look very girly pop with all this nasty blonde facial hair. I don't think I look very girly pop. 
uh, womp. I'm ADHD and all that is kicking in, and I apologize. I keep touching things. I'm not trying to be annoying. I'm just, I'm just being me. I'm gonna stop messing with the flashlight for a minute. Actually, that's a really good spot. I'm glad I actually accidentally found that. Can I turn it this way just a tad? Yeah, good. That's that's okay lighting. I'm proud of that. That should have been there the whole fucking time. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is a personal thing. Uh, and it's a personal thing that I am not sure if I'm confident enough to talk about yet. Because I don't, it's not official. But fuck it, if I don't talk about details, I can talk about it. Uh, I, uh, have, during the time of this channel existing, been in two relationships, uh, one of which went well and then ended on mutual terms, the other of which went well in the sense of living through it, poorly in the sense of looking back, as the other person did not actually have feelings for me. Uh, and I'm not going to get too much into detail with that because it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Uh, but long and short of it is I'm feeling better and I've started to push myself out there again. Um, and I've kind of never done that. Like I've always been the person who's like, I just become friends with people. And then over a period, the people I become friends with become more than friends. I've never purposefully went looking for a partner or whatever. Like, I've never... I've never gone on, like, a date to be with somebody or anything like that. Uh, and the a similar thing happened where it's like I was a friend with a person and we talked more and talked more and talked more. And currently, it's looking like we might be a thing. Uh, but I'm going to leave it at we might be a thing because we haven't spoken specified if it's an official thing, if we're partners, if we're just friends who talk a lot of shit together, or whatever. But I am conversating with somebody who I will not be saying the name of out of respect for their privacy, uh, but I am having fun talking with this person. And um, for the first time in probably my whole romantic experience, like as a whole, just every single one, for the first time it feels like... It feels like for the first time I can be unfiltered. Because I've always had to have some sort of filter. With certain people I've had to be more PC, or with other people I had to hide parts of myself. Or with certain people, I had to go elongated periods without conversating with them, which led to a lot of miscommunication. Uh, and for the first time, I have met somebody. And only been able to show them a modern version of who I am. And only been able to show them who I truly am, because they didn't get to meet a version of me that was fake. Whereas a lot of people in my life had to meet a version of me that was forced and pushed and made up for certain situations. Whereas now I'm meeting people and they get to meet pure, unadulterated Finn. Um, which makes it a lot easier for people to genuinely care about me. What is that noise? Hello? There's dogs barking, but that's not the noise I hear. Sounds like a kid laughing at a bumblebee. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun moving into a relationship. Maybe. Um, and they are great. They are... Another part of it is it's somebody who's not American-born, I guess would be the term. I'm dating somebody who's an immigrant. Maybe dating? I am 
in relations with a person who is not from here, which means there's a lot of differences socially that are kind of adding to the differences between us and allowing us to have more to talk about. Uh, and due to that, I'm also being introduced to a lot of stuff. I'm being introduced to certain food and certain language and certain religious and spiritual ideas and ideologies and stuff, which is really fun. I enjoy that sort of learning. Why is my phone ringing? Is that the bumblebee sound? No. I don't know. Uh, ow! But I'm, I'm having a very nice personal relationship with somebody who I enjoy being in a conversation with, which is very nice. Uh, I'm trying not to rush things because I, I'm one of those hopeless romantics that the moment you spend like 10 seconds being nice to me, I'm like in love with you, which is unhealthy and I'm trying to work on it and I'm currently working on it. Uh, but so far, it's been moving slow, it's been moving steady, and it's been moving healthy. Uh, which is very nice. It's also the first time in a relationship where I haven't decided at a random point to be like, this person does not love me, so I am not talking to them for a day. When it's like obvious there's care going back and forth, and I'm just too dumb to know. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, how do I move past, I just explained like a super emotional personal thing, and now I'm just like, yo, what's next, guys? Um, what do I talk about next? I mean, fuck. Uh, employment, maybe? I'll talk about employment. I need to get a job. Uh, I'm getting close to the camera so I can, I can shut this little bastard off. I need to get a job. I need to be employed because I need money, because I need insurance on my vehicle, because I need my vehicle, because I need to move, because I can't be here longer. And due to that stuff, I need to get a job. Currently, I'm unemployed. Uh, I've only ever had, like, actual job, McDonald's, which isn't great. It's also not great experience to put on a resume. Uh, I've learned this because a lot of places don't like that that's on my resume. Um... I've decided that this Friday, if I haven't gotten a call about a job anywhere, I'm just going to go work at Burger King, because I, I, I can do that job, I guess. Like, I know how to do that stuff, so I'm, I'm gonna, um, so that, that's fun, I guess. Um, I don't want to work fast food, as it, it sucks. But if I have to, I will. That or, like, Walmart. I'll do something, because I need to make some amount of money so that I can get the fuck out of here. Uh, but currently, I'm unemployed, which sucks. The fattest load, my friend. Big, stinky, fucking stinker. Uh, big, dumbass, stinky fucking load. Um... What other things do I have to... I had so many other things to talk about. No. No. How? Oh, a segment I want to do because it's the world's loneliest podcast. Hello, shout out to the world's loneliest podcast. Trademark world's lo lo loneliest par podcast. Dang, my little autistic voice is coming. Uh, I'm coming. Uh, due to it being the world's loneliest podcast... Uh, I think every episode I want to talk about one or two or more, depending on, like, the situation and what it takes and all that. Uh, I just want to talk about, like, lonely situations, but not in, like, a morbid, sad way. In, like, a the sort of thing of, like, oh, could you survive a week of solitary, solitary confinement? Or could you, like live life alone in, like, a, on, like, a deserted island. Like, that sort of thing. I think that could be fun to do, considering it's the world's loneliest podcast. I just feel like it should have some, some part of it should have something to do with, like, actually being lonely, other than the fact that I'm out in the middle of the nowhere in the dark. Um, I'm trying to think. I had, t I had two more segments. Where did they go?
I, I should start, I should start writing things down, because then I won't, then I won't, then I, then I, then I'll remember, um, oh, uh, I wanted to do a segment, because of this is just me talking with you guys in a way that doesn't include other people, or like a barrier, or a second party, uh, I want to do a thing, just talking about like YouTube shit, I just want to do a segment talking about YouTube shit. Uh, let me press my little button over here. Um, I was thinking maybe be specific about like doing it with me things. Like my views, my subs, my likes, that sort of thing. But I'm like... Uh, but it's like I can make that a, set, a part of the thing. Because I kind of just want to talk about YouTube news. Talk about YouTube updates. Talk about uh, analytical stuff. Talk about my channel. Talk about other channels. Uh, maybe maybe do a little shout out contest sort of situation. Not really contest, but like a thing where a thing where like maybe every episode I'll choose like one random subscriber or a random comment or something and just like find like shout out their YouTube channel or something just to just to push it push them or something uh maybe talk about some of my favorite youtubers and the stuff that they make something to do like that because i feel like that could be really fun but i feel like i might accidentally just like keep repeating names i'm thinking maybe that segment will be something along the lines of like here's a like every episode it's like here's a youtuber that finn really likes here's stuff they make and why finn likes to watch them like, I could do, like, a thing about, like, soup and just talk about his videos and what I like about them and his style and, like, the the content itself alongside his personality and the group of personalities around him of the Um Like, that sort of thing. Or, like, I could talk about, uh, like, why I like this person. Oh, what's his name? He changed the name of his channel is why my brain stopped working. He makes, like, skits on, you, like, YouTube shorts and on TikTok and stuff. And I, I really think he's hilarious. Oh, God. I He changed his fucking name and now I can't remember it. I'm sorry. Maybe maybe I'll be able to think about it and bring it up for, like, the next episode or something. But I... God. So good. Uh, good comedian. Uh, like, maybe I could sit down and talk about, like, oh, here's what I like about this guy, and here's the stuff I like about his comedy, and here's the stuff he uses for his sketches, or for his props, or whatever. Um, I think that could be really, really cool. Um, and I was thinking, uh, rather it be a weekly thing, or an every episode thing, or whatever, um, I was thinking maybe... I could do, uh, like, like a weekly check this thing, uh, and I can't figure out what it would be. I would want to do something funky, though. Something weird, something stupid that don't matter. Like, randomly, I'm just like, hey guys, it, it's this week's episode of, and then it's just like a shitty, it would be after I get editing software I currently don't have, but it's like, this week's doggo! And it's just like a fucking goofy picture of a dog. It's like, this week's dumbass cat! And then it's just like an upside down cat covered in water. Something something small and stupid that doesn't matter that we could check on like every once in a while. Or if I had an editor, I can be like, Editor, take a picture of your front yard. Include the address, pussy. Uh, something, something dumb, something unimportant. Don't... If I hire you as my editor, don't fucking listen to me sometimes. Because I'm going to say dumb shit that you shouldn't do. Editor, put in the Rusty McNutt clip. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> uh, but uh, little things like that. I, I want to do a bunch of tiny unimportant stuff alongside the stuff that does matter and I, I do care about doing. Hope you enjoyed the calming sounds of me gulping. Um, 
Maybe each episode I can do like a really shitty ASMR thing. I think that could be funny. Like the like the Aminon sent me this one that's fucking hilarious. It's like uh mommy dotes on you and then pulls fucking like cupcakes out of the oven and gets third degree burns and it's i want to do something stupid like that like every episode where it's just like a really dumbass asmr thing where it's just like yeah honey are you home from school oh fucking god please just getting shot fucking be awesome so, something little and dumb unimportant things because uh, there, there's parts of this podcast that I want to be really personal and serious and emotional bet- uh, back and forth between us. Uh, and then there's other parts that I think are just fucking stupid. I, I just randomly thought of a thing we could do once a week because it just it makes fucking sense because it's in the truck already. It's just like every episode we check how much change is in the change jar. Currently not a lot. Hopefully more next time. Yes, I have a giant fucking glass change jar. What about it, pussy? Uh, what other random shit do I have in the truck this week? Got a trash can. No, that's not a bag that's supposed to be on the can. The bag's way too small. I just don't have a trash bag. Boxing gloves. Uh, boxing gloves. MMA gloves. Pads. I think that's it, other than, like, pillows and shit. I got a lot of pillows and shit back here. I got two, uh, two, like, I have a comforter, a quilt, this pillow. I've got two of these pillows, but the other one's there because I'm short and I need it to drive. Don't make fun of me for being short, guys. I'm not that, I'm not that short. I'm just not. I'm just not. What the fuck are those lights on for? Hello? Did I? What? Huh? Did I accidentally, like, open this door? I did. My dumbass accidentally opened the door. Uh, but yeah, uh, that sort of thing could be real fun. Just, every week I'm just like, what's in here? I don't want this. <laughs> I'm putting that in the trash, I'm not putting that back in there. Just randomly dig shit out. If I ever want to feel like Amadon, I can reach back here and yank this down and sit on it. Now I know what it's like to be Amadon Beans. Oh, I just hit my dick on the trash can. I mean my, uh, uh, pussy. Pussy. I meant pussy. You guys like my, my DIY tee, like, long sleeve? It's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's this shirt, which I got from Walmart. I like it. I, I, I fucking dig this shirt. And then it's on top of a Sons of Anarchy shirt. The thing about the Sons of Anarchy shirt is it's not a shirt. It's an accidental crop top. Uh, be- it's really fucking hot. I'm going to wear the crop top for the rest of this episode. I'm not trying to get naked. Put the fucking shirt back on. Uh, but I accidentally made this. Fuck. I a- yeah, this, this was an accident. It had like a small hole in it. And I was like, oh, fuck it. And I pulled on it. Uh, and then I did that multiple times, and then it just slowly became a, sen- a Sons of Anarchy crop top, which is like, if you had to, like, if you had to make an e-girl in the area I live, this is the sort of thing she would wear. Um, but yeah, you like my, did you like my DIY shirt thing? <laughs> uh... I'm trying, I had one more segment, and I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember, I cannot remember, oh. I hope that's not audible, holy shit, that would be so annoying if that's audible through the whole recording. I pray it's not. When I'm speaking, there's resonation and like a reverb coming through that big glass. When I talk, that happens really lightly and the louder I get, it happens more. And I pray, I pray to Allah. I pray to, I pray, I pray to Dumplin' that that shit doesn't 
pick up on on the on a microphone because that would that would be so fucking annoying. Uh, we're about to hit the one hour mark, so boom 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 boom. Yay, one hour. Can I? Where's my phone? I want to put on Coconut Mall. I want Coconut Mall. I want Coconut Mall. Coconut doggy. Coconut doggy. Coconut. Coconut doggy. I'm sorry. In the, mm, for now and the future, if I'm on this podcast and I start singing and it's really dog shit, I'm sorry. I want a coconut mall, my friend. In. My friend, please play the coconut mall. Please, my friend, play coconut mall. All that I ask is for the coconut mall, Baba. I just got a notification for a comment from 50 minutes ago from Johnny Bongo Drums. Uh, you look peculiar. Keep on gaming. <laughs> it doesn't say what fucking... <laughs> it doesn't say what video that's from, so I have no context to... Man, you look peculiar, bro. So that's... That's fun. Uh, Coca Nut Mall. I want Coconut Mall, damn it. Hit me with that. Baby boy, you gotta hit me with that bum 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 ba dum ba dum bum ba dum ba bum ba bum ba bum. I want that ten hour version, damn it. Yeah, give me ten hour coconut mall. I'm just gonna set that to the side. So now that we have background, <laughs> is Mick, is Nintendo gonna be mad at me? I pray Nintendo doesn't care that people use this song in YouTube videos. Uh, but oh, I just realized that my st I'm putting the other shirt back on. I really don't like my body. <laughs> I didn't realize it was. Mm. I wasn't paying attention to the fact that you guys could see my nasty ass stomach in the folds of it. I apologize. Ugh. Um. <sighs> um. Random update that I guess touches on a video from not too long ago. Um. As of. Sometime. <laughs> sometime over the next like month or two. Uh. I'll be three years sober. Three, maybe two, two, two. I don't know. I don't know the days, and I don't care too much about them. I'm just happy I'm not an asshole who does, who drinks a lot. Uh, but yeah, big. Big, big ups for me. Woohoo. I don't alcohol my halls. Yippee. Yip, yay. Um. <laughs> what else do I have to say, my friend? Damn it, my friend. I have to be a figure. A weekly a thing I can do in every episode is a, a, a fucking, what's it called? Hairline check. How about the hairline day, baby? Is it any worse than it was? I think as long as it's a, 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 a like a, I think as long as my hairline is curved, I'm not gonna care. When it becomes a straight line, is when there's a problem. Yeah, but there's like curves and stuff. I think it's okay. At the end of every podcast, we're gonna do a hairline check for me, cause it's still got curvature. I'm balding, but slowly. Uh, I think it's really funny that I announced my, like, two years being sober, or, what, or three, or whatever it was. Meanwhile, Coconut Mall's just in the background. That's... That's fun. <laughs> you ever want to know what it's like to get sucked by Finn? <laughs> oh! That echoed. Ow.
Wow, that didn't feel good on my lips. Um, I'm gonna end Coconut Mall. I know it ain't been too long of Coconut Mall, but um, it's 4:36 in the morning. Uh, and I, uh, have to get up and do shit at 6.45-ish, maybe 6.50 if I'm lucky. So, I've got two hours to play with on the idea of sleep, and or shower and sleep. So, uh, shower and sleep, I have a lot to do. I have a full day ahead of me and I gotta get up at fucking... Two hours from now, suck my balls. Look, look upon my child, Lord, Lord Peter, Walter. Look at my dick and balls, Walter. Um. So that's gonna be the end of the first episode of the world's loneliest podcast. My name's Finn, and this has been a fun time between me and you. I hope you have a great day, great night, great afternoon, great morning, whatever the hell you're going through, whatever time you're going through it, I hope you're getting there. Have fun, take care of yourself, and stay safe. Smooches. Mm -hmm.